Hi everyone, this is Stocks in Switch Philippines, teaching how to trade and invest in the Philippine stock market independently. Okay, market actually started out strong. It again touched the 8,000 level, reaching a high of 8,002.32, but started to shed off its gains as we progressed through the day. It closed at its close of 7907.66 down 19.83 points or 0.25 percent uh brother all share index is down 0.30 percent all sub indices are down with the exception of the mining and oil in the property sector let's look at the property sector since it was the outlier today <laughs> ali is still moving higher with a wow value of 1 billion 1.85 percent up with a net foreign buying of 204 million Prime Mix is also up, SLI as well, Jerry and DD trying to <laughs> go back to the 50 peso level. Right now it's having a hard time. Ara is down for the day, so as well, Mega World is also down for the day. FLI, Cyber, CPG, BRN, and VLL, 24.5 million in net foreign selling. Worst hit sector for the day is the financial sector. Okay. SECB is up 1.45%, a whooping 163 million net foreign buying. PBB is also up. China Bank, wow, huge net foreign buying, 17 million. BDO is also up. Uh, AUB, also higher, also net foreign buying. Sector is down for the day, but we're seeing a lot of net foreign buying of this one. The big banks are down for the day. 3.85% down, 44 million in net foreign savings. So as BPI, but we have a net foreign buying here. PNB as well as down or slightly flat. EW, huge net foreign buying. And RCBC, uh, down slightly, 0.31%. Most active stock for the day is obviously Ireland with 1 billion, 1, 1 billion 38 million. Followed by URC, 893 million, 171 million in net foreign buying. And TEL, 733 million. For the gainers, we have the top gainer, H2O, 28.33% up. Oh, it didn't close at its highs. Anyhow, it's still bullish. Followed by GOH, AB, AGF is also up. LSC, CPM, Mark. Crown has a huge volume, 19.5 million. To go is also doing okay, protecting its uh, 28 plus 20 plus peso level. IS is also up for the day. Losers we have RCI, LFM, BMM, and WM where there was a problem last night. There was an armed person who entered the premises of RWM. I think 34 or 37 people died in RWM, including guests and employees. So, stock right now is done. Obviously, short-term stock or it's uh, the people going to RWM would drop significantly. But I think they will recover from this one. Med is also down for the day. LIHC. Bloom. I think we this just formed a lower low. On, on, in the short term, 110 million in that foreign selling. ABG is down as well. Ace 5.24. I think the volume is weak though. Yeah, it's weak. So this is still bullish. And Araneta 4.58% down. Value turnover today is huge at 13.27 billion. There were 78 advancers, 110 decliners. So 56 names remain unchanged. Foreigners bought 7.28 billion worth of Philippine equities and sold 5.53 billion, resulting to a net foreign buying of 1.75 billion for our peso dollar rate. It's at 49.646 foreign markets. Hang Seng is up. Oh, oh, everyone is up. Nikkei, Singapore, Taiwan, Korean cost is also up. Foreign markets, Shanghai is also up and CNJ is up. So I think we're the sole so loser for the day in Asia. 
Thank you for watching and listening to our market wrap up report for June 2, 2017. This is Tafsinos Philippines teaching you how to trade and invest in the Philippine stock market independently.